Welcome to this tech tip showing the installation and first launch of EdgeCam 2017 R1. This tech tip is intended for the user that has a previous recent version of EdgeCam and is updating to the 2017 R1 version. After downloading the EdgeCam 2017 R1 DVD image, extracting the contents, and opening the starthere.hta file, you will have the installation navigation screen shown here. We suggest that before installing you should refer to the installation guide, located in the prepare section, for complete information on the software installation process. The prepare section also provides documentation on what's new. Moving to the server installation section, the Sentinel RMS license server option is provided for installations where the EdgeCam workstations obtain licenses from a network server. This installation is typically done when setting up a new license server. If your company is currently using network licensing and already configured and working, you can skip the server installation option. The SQL Tool Store option is provided for deployments where the database is hosted from a server. If this is how your company deploys the database, this installation should be done prior to installing EdgeCam on the user workstations. This is a common deployment for many users, especially companies with multiple CAM users. We'll cover this in more detail at the end of this video. The Install section offers the options for installing EdgeCam and its peripheral software applications on the user workstation. The next segment of instructions will focus on installing EdgeCam. The EdgeCam installation process is very straightforward. You begin with selecting the EdgeCam option in the Install section. This launches the EdgeCam installer which guides you through the installation process. Windows 10 users may need to provide permission for the installer to run. You have the Welcome to the Wizard, and we'll click Next to begin the setup. First, we have the License Agreement. Once you have read and accepted it, the next prompt is for the path to install to. You can browse if you need to assign a different path, but the typical path is usually appropriate. Next is the choice of a typical or custom installation. The typical installation is appropriate for most users. The live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are all included as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. You can use the custom option if you need to select exactly which EdgeCam software applications to install. Next is the program group to be created. Next is the selection of the default units and environment to use when launching EdgeCam. Next is a summary screen. Review this information and select back if you need to make any changes. Otherwise, select install to begin the software installation. When installation is complete, you have the finish button and notice that what's new is checked. We suggest reading through what's new to become familiar with the changes and new technology in this release. You can also get to what's new from the installation splash screen and any time from the EdgeCam help menu. The other items in the install section are optional. As previously noted, the live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are installed automatically as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. These install screen options are provided for users that wish to install them separately this may be desirable when these peripheral applications are used on computers other than the EdgeCam workstations. The Part Explorer application is not installed with EdgeCam. Part Explorer is a high-speed 3D viewer which directly displays and evaluates 3D CAD files without the need for the original CAD application. Part Explorer provides measurement, annotation, analysis, screen images for setup reports, and other tasks useful for manufacturing and engineering. 
Advion Tool Library has been updated to version 1.5.2.119 and is compatible with EdgeCam 2017 R1 and 2016 R2 versions. Users with older versions of Advion should update the software to gain new functionality. If you haven't checked out Advion yet, this would be a great time to explore the many benefits from integrating this tool library with EdgeCam. The Advion Tool Library is based on the Cutting Tool Data Standard ISO 13399 and makes it easy to create and export tool assemblies to your CAM and simulation software. Contact us for more information on Advion and Part Explorer. I'd like to point out the Browse Installation Folder option above Exit. This opens Windows Explorer and displays the contents of the DVD image. Notice the Utilities folder, which provides an installation removal tool. We advise using this utility to easily remove this Edge Cam version from the workstation if that should ever be necessary. You have full control of the software removal process with this utility, including ability to do a clean uninstall where all files and Windows registry entries can be completely removed as if the software was never installed on the workstation. When the installation is complete, notice the EdgeCam 2017 R1 launcher shortcut that has been placed on the desktop. The launcher provides central access to all EdgeCam software items, including EdgeCam, recently used files, software applications, including the Toolstore database, and other related software included with the EdgeCam suite. We're going to launch EdgeCam and look at what happens the first time you use the new software version. First, we get a prompt asking where to install sample data. The default is to copy this factory installation sample data to the local My Documents folder. This is the typical configuration for most user workstations. Simply press OK to begin the process. Next we see the File Migration Wizard. This is a handy utility for copying user data from your previous version to the new version. You've probably configured the previous software version exactly the way you like it, and this utility will copy those settings to the new version automatically. This is a very simple utility to use. After the welcome, simply click Next. Start by choosing the items to copy, and then click Install to start the file migration wizard. Hover the mouse over any item for a description of what the option controls. Most users can leave the default suggestions checked and proceed. After clicking Install, the utility copies the user data to the new version so that EdgeCam 2017 R1 looks as close as possible to how you had configured the previous version. Last, you have a question about registering the software. If you have already done this with a previous version and are using the Vero Customer Portal and Customer Community Forums, you can skip this step. If you haven't done that, you may want to take a moment to register. Congratulations, you're ready to start using the latest EdgeCam software version. This final segment is for customers that host the Toolstore database from a server. If your company doesn't do that, you can ignore the remainder of this tech tip. In this deployment scenario, there are typically multiple user workstations, which we will call clients. They all use a common database, which is installed on another computer, which we will call the database server. In this type of environment, the database server should be updated to the new software version first before installing EdgeCam on the client workstations. Step 1. Working on the database server, complete the SQL Toolstore installation. Step 2. Still working on the database server, 
Upgrade the database. We will show an example of how to do that next. Once both tasks are complete, you can proceed to perform the EdgeCam installations on the client workstations. After the installation on each workstation is complete, that workstation should be mapped to the network database which was configured in steps 1 and 2. Please note this is done on each client workstation using the Toolstore Administrator, which is in the Applications area on the EdgeCam launcher. We've just completed the install of the SQL Toolstore on the computer acting as the database server. We've gone to Start and All Programs and found the EdgeCam program group for the latest version and opened Toolstore Administrator. We can see there's a database with a red exclamation indicating that it's a database from a previous version. When I left click on it, we'll go to the Upgrade Database option in the Management screen and we'll give this a new database a name. We suggest putting in an appendix that matches the version that this database is intended for. At the end of the upgrade process, we see the new database available as well as the old one. We're now ready to move out to the EdgeCam workstations and do a typical EdgeCam installation. At the end of those installations, we can connect them to the upgraded database on the database server.